Uh, welcome back, mate. It's, it's been about a year since you've been back. Yeah, you know, it has been a while since I've been back. Um, when I flew on the plane, I, I always make sure I get a window seat so I can see Australia when I'm coming in. But uh, this time they stuck me in the island and didn't get to see anything. So I was a bit disappointed about that. Do you miss it? Like, like Albuquerque uh, couldn't be any different, I suppose, to where you're from. Yeah, you know, it's, it's kind of the same. I just haven't got the water. It's got all the sand. Uh, it's just like a desert. Um, you know, I don't like it that much, but uh, I'm happy to be there and train out at Greg Jackson's camp. I miss home, I miss the beach, I miss my family, I miss everyone, you know, but uh, I'm over in America following my dream and, uh, you know, trying to make something of myself. I assume you probably wouldn't change it to have the opportunity to train where you train and you train with them, eh? Yeah, exactly. You know, I think I train with the best coach in the world and the best team in the world, so, you know, I wouldn't change anything. A um, couple of months now until your next fight. Yeah. Uh, how, how are you feeling? I'm feeling good, you know. Um, there's a few weeks to go, a few months to go, but, um, you know, I've picked up the training already and the intensity started picking up, so... I'm excited about this fight and I can't wait to be back home fighting in front of the Australian crowd again. Keen to, keen to get back in the winner's circle. It's been a while. Like, you had your first loss for a while, didn't you? Yeah, yeah I, had, uh, I had a few wins in a row and I lost my last fight in August. So um, it was a minor setback, you know, and um, hopefully this year I'm going to have three or four more fights and win every one, hopefully, and try to crack the top ten by the end of the year and challenge for a title start of next year. UFC today announced the Australia and um, UK fights are, fights are on it towards the end of the year. You're hoping to sort of... Get a part of that, I suppose. Oh, absolutely. You know, um, any chance to fight against some English guys would be great. You know, uh, we've got a great sporting rivalry with uh, England, so they have to put me in for that one. <laughs> it's a huge opportunity, isn't it? You went through it, and now yeah. it's, it's they're really creating a, a, a really good opportunity for everyone else, aren't they? Exactly. You know, I think Australia's got a wealth of talent here, and they just need a big show, a big stage to show how good they are. You know, it's tough for an Australian fighter to go way over to the states, have to pay for their own flights and to get there. So, if the UFC can come here, you know, it's just going to showcase how good Australian fighters are. You've got to talk about your, um, your, your role as your, your life before a fighter, uh -huh. as, a, as, as Steve Irwin's bodyguard and, 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 and those sorts of things. It's, uh, it's an interesting sort of uh, day job, I suppose. Yeah, it was. You know, I felt fortunate enough to have met him and uh, you know, I, was, I worked with him for a long time. So uh, he was a great friend of mine and a great human being and I, I feel truly blessed to have worked with him. People in the States who always seem pretty amazed when you, when you tell them that, don't they? Yeah, exactly. You know, I think he's one of those, I think he's a celebrity celebrity, you know, like even all the celebrity guys, they looked up to him and they were kind of starstruck when they saw him. So I think he was that type of person. Um, everybody, like, uh, I think fed off his passion. You know, his passion was animals, but, you know, he, he could trans, uh, transfer that passion to anything, you know. Like, for me, he brought out more passion about my mixed martial arts. You know, I think the type of person you be around that influences other people to be better at what they do. And uh, you taught him a few things as well. Uh, I tried to teach him a few things, you know, Steve was a big strong guy, uh, once he got on top of you it was hard to get off, so, uh, you know, we didn't want to teach him too much. <laughs> good stuff and uh, good luck in your next fight. Uh, thanks a lot, I appreciate it. Thanks mate, good to meet you mate. You too. Yeah, I'll, um, I'll, like I said, I'll